Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this sampath you watching sampath samfix youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews you can see it recognized as karna snapdragon 732g and the version of android is 13 yes and 10.2 is the rise os version the rise droid 5th february 2023 is the latest security patch and the build date you can see 211 11th february build date is and kernel user is 4.14. 304 lineage OS kernel has been used this is very good kernel recent times i have seen many of the custom roms using this and i have been running the geekbench course here yes that's the thing today geekbench 6 version it's not showing history that's why i am showing like this as you can see single score is 734 and multi score is 1773 and kernel and everything as i said before it's fine the scores are very similar to any of the custom roms and this is the cpu throttling test the maximum is 191 million jps and average 168 and minimum is 106 and it's throttled to 83 percent of its max performance for last five minutes and 36 6 and 7 millisecond this is a 100 thread test for poco x in this registered version it's quite interesting the rom is and some of the other settings also i will show it out in the files yeah, this is the same CPU throttling test and this one save the charging rapidly i mean this 33 watt charger is supported in this particular rom and this is the typical home screen you get if i press and hold here you get widgets the material you design as you can see just drag and add here those things are still present here there are three presets also you can even customize them and this is the quick settings panel you get every toggles are working fine sync is also given in the edit section you get plenty of that it is smooth not lag or anything like that in the quick settings it's fine i can say that's the word you can use fine and this is the dialer you get here let's check out you get direct video call feature and even call recording feature is also available in this rom carrier aggregation and internet connectivity all are fine that i usually tell it out and safety net status you can also judge the app opening time here you can see it get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay all the things can be worked guys again and again people asking me about flashing method it's available in the short section check out instead of this uh, i mean lineage OS rom use this rom and firmware what i used i will always be telling 13.0.4 eea if i tell that thing they don't know they don't understand what i do they should be regular in my videos at least they can check out my shorts videos only there are six one among them was the flashing method that's very simple you know but what to do people ask me about that and 3 lakh 59276 is the antidote benchmark is and temperature raise was this time 4.2 degrees celsius and battery drop is three percentage little bit higher the temperature but i can say it's a good rom anything i left over here not drm information app opening time is also fine here level one certification you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution and guys subscribe the subscribe button and also allow that bell notification and if you like the video give it a like come on yeah now moving into other settings yes camera is missing here install the arnobel gcam port if you want you can use any other gcam port also that's fine here people should bring some rom with the MIUI camera installed isn't it you people are waiting for that will they listen or not i don't know let's see and if i go into settings here you get personalization again you get a customization you can see this is regarding buttons lock screen media cover art filter and battery information left right shortcuts what all the things we can give it out okay tap to sleep fingerprint authentication and error vibration ripple effect and power menu you can enable or disable from here miscellaneous settings game space has been given notification mode you can enable or disable these things and in game call no action if you want auto answer it's available it's quite interesting once you are playing the game it prevents the caller id has been enabled if you press the auto answer here it will directly get into call which is cool thing block full screen event and disable auto brightness while playing the game i am saying and disable swipe to three finger screenshot those things are available here disable usb debugging you can add the game from 
here full screen apps if certain app is not playing in the full screen enable from here scarlet services system manager again enable you get lot of options here system boost aggressive idle mode those things you can customize in the rice droid sensor block per package is also given you can enable and individually choose them unlock high fps in games enable there unlock high m i mean unlimited photo storage enable that spoof your device as different model you can enable that those things are given here weather settings again there are some customization you can check out on the screen notifications reticker is given i see notifications other things you can check out here heads up again timeout you can decrease or increase blink flashlight for incoming call disabled if want you can do these things battery light again enable you get some options normal and do not disturb notification light also you get from here which is cool thing in my opinion normal and do not disturb light sweat screen on if want you can enable that let's check that where was that quick settings no in the navigation i think so no in the quick settings you get this kind of options it's smooth how smooth the interface you can guys check out here in the notification notification light lights with screen on where is the notification light can you guys see it out let's turn it off and see no only while keeping the charging and uh, notifications also i don't think so we get it just they given this option but it is not working isn't it guys and battery light those things are given here user interface again ambient display enable that you know to get notifications and theme engine you can even customize here and aod customizations as i said before status bar this clock and things you can customize from here all the options are given here no need to worry battery bar and even quick pull down also you can customize from here and moving to actual settings here you get display settings and dark theme pitch black condition is it given yes it is given pure black just enable that night light feature is also again light display mode colors keep it to boosted okay full screen apps minimum peak refresh rate kept to 120 that's it moving into sound settings where is the sound settings let's say wallpaper sound style you get print of wallpapers here basic colors and wallpaper colors those are given themed icons this is different here and upgrade again up to 16 to 10 is given it's a standard now that's it let's point to sound and vibration you get typical sound and vibration settings increase the ringing volume start up and ramp up time you can select from here and do not disturb again these are the options you get phone ringtone live caption media vibration haptics you get here just enable or disable from here vibration pattern is also given i really like this uh, you can customize them charging sounds are also given i tried actually currently yeah that's fine no my sound set is charging sounds where it is calm currently set calm it's fine vibration also you can enable or disable once you kept to charging Dirac sound enhancer you get enable this and even hi-fi audio system headphone type and preset is also given here the interface wise is smooth i have feeling of same here accessibility menu again a handy feature without actually using the physical buttons you can use just using this toggle you can increase the volume buttons and even brightness and recent apps lock screen power button accessibility setting assistant also you wake from here even you can directly get to quick settings from here it's a handy feature you should definitely try in this kind of roms now moving into location again you get uh, location services all these things are fine app lock and fingerprint unlock face unlock has been given here you can see app lock is also given again make patterns visible so you can disable from here show pattern error also you can enable or disable even dots also those things are given if i go into face unlock let's show you you get this kind of options allow face unlock on the lock screen script lock screen if you want to be on the lock screen just enable this i mean disable this that's how it is and fingerprint unlock nothing here let's check those things fingerprint unlock as you can see it's quick to unlock your smartphone using that and let's check the face unlock also is it yes it's getting unlocked little bit difficult for me always the face unlock because i am setting something 
the level of setting and the video recording is different hence it will be always difficult to me to show the face unlock anyhow that's the one thing and uh, this is how the smoothness in the rise drive also if you don't want pixel os and if you are looking for customization then go and flash this rom we are still waiting isn't it yes rise drive is also very good rom i seen the alpha drive and now the morning banana drought i will be making share drought latest version so you check out previous video that's just the security patch has moved to february i'll make it the video if you guys really want it that's it that's my duty i'll do it don't worry about that but overall this rom is very good you get unlock fps means you get 90 fps i need not to show the bgm or pubg mobile i don't know who of them are playing the game and what game is going on sometimes some games get banned and sometimes some games get disabled or sometimes shut down i don't know what's happening regarding the gaming community that's a really sad moment i don't know and this all the recent apps you can see the smartphone is fine with registered also it's also very good rom now android 13 is in a good stage in terms of custom roms at least for poco xc i don't know about other devices for poco xc the android 13 roms are in good state you can use any of the roms you will don't regret but uh, some of them are requesting the anx camera should be installed pre-installed here there are some methods but it's an like i can say it's not going to be a complete solution they should give pre-installed nx camera then it will be even easier i think that happens in the next builds hope so that's the one thing and that's it guys if you want to use it as a daily driver go ahead and flash this rom it's also a very good rom and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video and until that keep smelling bye bye for now